Jets rookie defensive end Jermaine Johnson had a quiet but underrated 2022 season. Let's take a look at his All-22 together and I'll show you why I think Johnson can make the leap and become a starter for the 2023 season. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown, this time looking at Jermaine Johnson. But where I wanted to begin was by looking at the Jets starting four on their defensive line from a season ago. They rolled with this group a ton. It was John Franklin Myers at the strong defensive end position, Carl Lawson opposite him, and then you had Sheldon Rankins and Quinn Williams on the inside. The reason I've circled JFM is pretty simple. I think this is the role that Jermaine Johnson can mature into and play in the 2023 season. Suits his game to a T, guys. You've got a guy who was excellent against the run. He was top five in run stuff percentage in the NFL last season. He was pretty quiet as a rookie, but he was very, very good in that area. He flashed enough as a pass rusher, but it also allows JFM to kick inside and be the starter to replace Rankins. And then you've got Jefferson and Woods as situational depth. So looking at the film now, this is why I believe that Johnson can fill that void. Left-hand side of your screen, I'll let it roll for you at full speed. Have a look at him blow up this pin-pull concept against the Bengals and just maul Mixon in the backfield. This is one of the best reps from a Jet in 2022. So again, what do we see from him? You're going to get a pin-pull concept. That means you've got a crack block from the tight end or the wide receiver, left-hand side of your screen. Johnson battles through it, but how does he get the hat to the outside and get the leverage advantage? It's because of his elite vision. He looks upfield and he sees the flow of the offensive lineman, how the guard and the center are pulling to the left-hand side of your screen. He then works towards the traffic. Look at the heavy hands and the ability to just absolutely bully the guard and then absorb that contact and get to Mixon. This is a gorgeous play. It shows off the intelligence and IQ of Jermaine Johnson, his ability to work through contact, absorb it, and just blow up that pin pull. What a great way to start the video. Against the Ravens, this time they've got a bit of a counter. He's on the right-hand side of your screen, but once again, the left-hand side of the Jets' defensive line. Look how he works through contact, stays balanced, and then affects this play, gets the running back. This is really impressive, guys. You've got the H-back working across the formation, does a nice job ducking inside that, making sure he braces for contact, gets skinny, drops the shoulder. He's still in a great position. We're then going to take on the fullback, lower your pads, low man wins. We are just blocking that hole. They have not moved Jermaine Johnson an inch, and he does a great job cleaning up after Quincy Williams kind of bounces off that tackle. He was excellent in these kind of situations, taking on pulling blockers, men in space, maintaining gap integrity. Jermaine Johnson really shone here. I just think a lot of fans didn't really pick up on it. And then a couple of clips against the Steelers to close off the running game portion of this video. Right-hand side of your screen, Jermaine Johnson on third and short. Look at this, man. Just blow up the play. For me, it was so impressive how he wins to the inside with that initial quickness, first step acceleration. Look at his ability to get through the hole, to penetrate. Once again, we're going to drop our pads, win the leverage battle, get to the inside, but he's able to work through contact really well. He's a big defensive end. He's not a Will McDonald 240 pound type athlete. He gets the inside, then just works through that contact and smashes the running back for no gain and we get to a fourth down. But a great job from Jermaine Johnson, getting skinny, attacking the hole, one step, penetrate, something you love to see from your defensive ends in this particular scheme. And from the same game, I'm just going to show you how we can bench press a mismatch against the tight end. Does a great job against Pat Fryermuth here. Gets to the uh, the running back as well with an absurd tackle. But this is just a great play all around. You can see him left-hand side of your screen. We're going to get extension. We're going to bench press the tight end. We're going to throw him down the line of scrimmage. Look at the displacement he gets on Frymuth. I understand he's only a tight end, but that's a phenomenal job of just throwing that man out of the way. And then look at the tackle outside of his frame to get to the running back. This is impressive stuff, guys. I said it early on. Jermaine Johnson was top five in the NFL in run stuff percentage, and now you can see why. Let's pivot now and take a look at Jermaine Johnson, the pass rusher. I would say he was a little inconsistent overall, but he wasn't given a ton of opportunities. He only played 27% of snaps for the Jets, but you saw the pass rush plan that flashed at FSU. He won in a very simple way. 
Let's take a look at it here against the Steelers. Right hand side of your screen, a wide nine position. Clemens is the opposite defensive end this time. Watch him win with Euro step footwork, chopping the arms away, and then stacking a rip on top to get to the quarterback and sack him for a loss. This is how Jermaine Johnson wins. This is the most uh, prevalent pass rush move on the tape. You can see, threatens to go speed to power straight through the tackle's chest, but then propels himself off that inside leg. It's what I call Euro step footwork. We're gonna get to the outside. We're gonna swipe down on the hands. Does a nice job keeping the, the right arm long inside stab to get separation and then rip and bend around that corner, around the edge and get to the quarterback and make sure we get the sack. Overall, this is a really nice rep. But they were few and far between these type of wins, but you can see them there. And this is the kind of rusher he was in college. I made a video breaking down this exact move over and over again. This is Jermaine Johnson. I think he can improve in 2023, but this is a flash of who he can be. And a lot of these reps you'll notice, guys, are from early in the season. Here's one against the Ravens. I thought he started the year great and kind of tapered off a little bit. Have a look at this, left-hand side of your screen. Very similar thing, this time with more of a swipe move with the hand technique, and once again get to the quarterback to share in the spoils of a sack. But you're going to see the same footwork. We're going to attack the chest. No, we're not. We're going to Euro step footwork. This time we've got a two-hand swipe to disengage, and we're going to show off some bend around the corner. So we're utilizing the same pass rush plan, but he's got different ways that he can win at the point of attack. We just talked about how he went about it with a chop and a rip. This time we've got a two-hand punch. We're going to swipe, and we're going to bend around the corner and make sure we get to the quarterback and he gets to Lamar Jackson. This is quintessential Jermaine Johnson. This is the pass rush move that's going to see him get five to six sacks in 2023 and I honestly think he can fill that JFM role and allow Franklin Myers to go and rush the passer from the inside and that just makes the Jets a better unit altogether. But there were a few of these reps and this is the disappointing thing. He's a little one-dimensional still as a pass rusher. Again, coming from the left-hand side of your screen, have a look how Jermaine Johnson again tries to win with the same move, the same footwork, the same hand placement, but this is what tackles kind of figure out. If they don't give him a target and they don't shoot their hands, look at the tackle. He goes for a little ghost punch early here, but then does not want to shoot his hands. He wants Jermaine Johnson to hit him because he doesn't believe he can beat him with a bull rush. Jermaine Johnson still wants to go Euro step footwork, cross chop to the outside, but because the tackle hasn't presented a target in hands, he has to kind of try and bully him through the chest. He doesn't have anything to swipe away, and he's relatively ineffective in the rep. This is something I saw too much. This is something Johnson has to overcome. Whether it's more of a true bull rush, an inside counter, he just needs, needs more of a pass rush bag when he's trying to get to the passer. So guys, there's just a taste of the Jermaine Johnson film and why I think he can help fill in as that strong side defensive end in this Jets scheme. Allow John Frank Myers to kick inside more, show off that great run defense, and overall, I think JFM will be more of a force in 2023.